on that Drag Race reunion, we kind of got to see a little bit more of a different side of your personality. And we also got to see what kind of tensions might have been bubbling under in that break between when everybody was best friends and best, RuPaul's best friend race um, yeah. to the time when the show was released. And suddenly things kind of changed. Want to talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah. So uh, the reunion was... A, like it was intense because there were some unspoken issues that a lot of us had with each other yeah. that we hadn't had the time really to even hash out, and it just so happened that we had time on national TV to do so. You sure did. <laughs> so um, I think you kind of got to. I mean, I think that we're all still really close as a season, but it was a time that we kind of hashed out some. Issues that we had. Some issues. Plus, that was filmed the day after the finale. Yes. So y'all really knew who won, and you knew what that. It was like the experience was kind of done, and it was like now a postmortem to really get in there. Well, we didn't necessarily know who won, but oh, right, we knew you who didn't, you didn't knew win. Who didn't win, right? Yeah, because yeah, I forgot they they only we do it when they air. Didn't win, oh. so um, <laughs> it kind of opened the floodgates, if you will. Now, um, so the main issue, of course, was you and Valentina. Because now, was it that you guys on the season, on when you were filming, you were kind of close, or you felt you were? Oh, well, yeah, when we were filming, I mean, uh, if you watched back on season nine, um, every team challenge we were on, we were on the same team. We got ready next to each other. We were partners for every, like, individual duo thing, except we were on the same team for uh, the talk show challenge, but she was paired with Aja. But for every other challenge, it was like, you know, Kendall and Kylie and Mona Darton and right. uh, whatever the other one's name was. So, like, we did everything together. And, like, she went home right after I did. So, like... I, I think I was home for like a day and she, cause they keep you an extra day to film any extra like, you know, confessionals or whatever. Um, and so the next day, I, literally the next day I got home, um, I got a call from her and <clears throat> I was so gagged that like she was the one that left. Right. I really thought that she was gonna make it all the way. And so um, from that point on, we just kind of like bonded and we talked on the phone for hours every single day. Wow. When I would come to LA, I would go to her house and like we would uh, light candles and listen to like soft, like uh, uh, Spanish music right. and talk about our dreams. And like we had talked about like having like a drag con booth together and like we had all these plans to just, we, we were very, very close. She was the one girl from Drag Race that I considered to be my closest friend. Wow. Yeah. And so then what what changed the, when the show came out? Or what was the evolution of that relationship kind of faltering? Well, <sighs> so it all started when she started hanging out with um, her current manager. I don't want to get too into it because I'm not here to bash anyone's names, but sure. you're such a big star. I think you should have someone that got a little bit more experience in like managing talent. And she was like, you know, okay, I like respect that. I agree, you know. But then after that point, it was when really I didn't hear from her anymore. She, there was no response in a text messages. We didn't talk on the phone anymore. But wow. that was also around, it was like a month before the cast announcement came out. So we were all so busy trying to get ready for like our premiere looks and like right. all this That's other kind of, of stuff. Right, a lot of pressure to finally so like, get it dropped out. I didn't think anything of it. I was all like, well, we're all busy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no time. I don't think, I think that that was a good period of time that like none of us were really talking to each other because we right. were also focused on what we were going to be doing. Yeah. And, um, but then like, you know, after the episode started happening and like, you know, I wanted to like call and see how she was doing and like hit her up, like, what's up? How have you been? Um, no response really. Then like, I think I, I texted her when her elimination episode finally came out and I was like, baby, I hope you're okay. I know that that was probably really hard for you. And like two days later, I got a yes. Wow. And so I was like, okay, obviously she's dropped me as a friend at this point. So, um, I don't really know like what's going on, but, uh, there was just that perfect opportunity to ask her, 
you know, during the uh, Drag Race reunion. Because you kind of slipped it in there at the end, really. Like, we all thought it was kind of wrapping up. Well, yeah. Well, because you, I was like, you, you know, I'm wondering, there. and I thought that, like, in that moment, I thought I was going to get a completely different response than I got. I thought uh -huh. she was going to be like, oh, Farah, you know, I did not ever mean for you to feel that way. Like, I was not trying to ignore you or whatever. Like, I've just been really busy. Like, I just pictured, like, a real answer, like, it, just to kind of give me some closure so that I could feel like we were friends and like I could support, keep, su we could keep supporting right, each other. Right, because you're on the same season. You know you're going to run into each other. Exactly. You're both on the same events. Well, and like at this point, I didn't have any like animosity towards her at all. I just wanted to know why my friend was not being a friend mm -hmm. because we shared a once in a lifetime experience together. Yeah. There's no one in the world that knows what we went through with season nine, we got to meet Lady Gaga. Yeah. Like we we got to meet all these other celebrities. We did all these challenges together. We grew as people together. Right. And so. Experienced fame at the I, same time, like out of the blue. Yeah, literally. And I had had this like little feeling kind of bubbling up inside me where I felt like the one person I loved the most on the show didn't care about me. You know what I mean? And so. I was hoping from me bringing it up that she was just going to like reassure me that we were still friends and that things, you know, were just too busy or whatever. You know what I mean? Like it's it's the life that we lived after Drag Race. It's really she could have came up with a lot of excuses that I would have sure. totally believed. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then when I got her response and it was just so cookie cutter and so like, I love you and I respect you. Um, I was like, you don't love me. Mm hmm. You don't love me, like literally. And like at this point, at that point in my life and at the point that I'm at right now, like I don't have time for people that don't give a fucking shit about me. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Like I've dealt with that. But like for you to just say, OK, and then cut me out of your life forever for like six months, that's a little intense. And like, I don't know, like who does that? Like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you love someone and you've experienced it, it's like I, I told her, I was like, you threw away the relationship we had experiencing this once in a lifetime opportunity together. What? I was like, what the fuck? And then RuPaul interrupted us and was like, it looks like y'all have a lot to talk about after the show. So <laughs> and then they cut all that out. Wow. And so like, I mean, it kind of went on for a moment and I was just really hurt. I couldn't even hardly believe it because. Valentina was like, I mean, I'm extremely close with Aja. I'm ex extremely close with Shay. I'm extremely close with Alexis and Sasha. And we text almost every day. And it's like, Valentina, though, was a, like the number one friend of mine from season nine. We did, I mean, we even literally got ready to go. Our stations were next to each other. Right. Our, um, where we changed and stuff. We were right next to each other. We did, uh, I mean, it's just... Really, really, really depressing, but. Was there any closure ever? And have you seen her recently? Uh, we have not spoken since the reunion. Wow. I guess it's hard to air your personal stuff on TV and then not hold on to it <laughs> in a hard way. Uh, well, I think that me and her are probably at the same spot. I think that she probably resents me a lot for bringing that up during her Miss Congeniality crowning. Right. And I think that I resent the fact that it took me bringing it up there to get any response from her. Mm -hmm. um, because we could have totally talked about this off camera had she cared to reply. <laughs> Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to sit there and have like four blue text messages of mine and not be responded to. You know what yeah, I mean? Honey. I can get I can take a hint. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I think that we're both just probably I mean, I think that she probably doesn't trust me. I think that I don't trust her. And I think that maybe one day we will be able to work past it. But I do think that Valentina is the kind of girl that fame has kind of affected her a little bit differently than it's affected some other of us from season nine. Whereas like I see myself as the same struggling kid that I was before I went to go film Drag Race. And I think that she kind of saw herself as like a super mega star before she was even there. Uh. So I think that now, I think that just after the cast announcement and she started to get some really like big praise from fans, I think she was like, you know what? Snip, snip, snip. And I, I respect her decision to not want to be friends with me, and I can. I hope she can respect my decision to not want to try and be friends with her. 
Well, I think you've said what needed to be said. Any last words on this situation so we can put a nail in that coffin and you don't have to address this any longer? Obviously, if there was ever a moment where we actually got to talk, I would absolutely love to be friends with her. I've, yeah. We have so much in common. Mm -hmm. And you were friends before. Really yeah, good friends. Yeah, we were really good friends. So um, I don't ha I don't hate her and I don't really hate anyone. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, it's hard to, I'm sure it's both hard for both of us to be the first one to reach out to the other yeah. because there's pride involved and there's like, you know, I feel like I didn't do anything wrong. She probably feels that she didn't do anything wrong. So. And you have everybody nosing up in your business and having an opinion everyone, on, it on the internet. They so. still are talking about that fucking reunion to <laughs> yeah. this day. Oh, and they will. There's still a fan war years. going on between <laughs> Asha's fans, my fans, and Valentina's fans. I know, fans. it's crazy. It's like. At the end of the day, we were on season nine together and I will always be there for her. If she gave me a phone call, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh my God, Val Valentina's calling me, but I would answer it and I would right. be like, what's up, baby? Yeah. And if she needed me for anything, I would be there because no matter how annoyed I was that she threw away our friendship, I will always love her. Mm -hmm. I will always love her. And I, I mean, I don't feel like that this is like an end of a friendship at all. Like, I feel like this is just us learning how to deal with this like situation we've all been brought into. Yeah, it's a and big adjustment. I, I honestly don't believe that Valentina sees any kind of ill will towards me either. I, I think that we're both just doing our own thing and letting and riding this wave. And I think that, you know, I, I really don't see us, I do not see us not being friends forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't see it. I think that something will click in both of us after this has kind of died down a little bit, and I think that we'll come to our senses, and I think that we'll reunite. I'm pretty sure I know where you'll reunite. All Stars 4 coming to VH1 in three years. I'm pretty sure that the masterminds of World of Wonder will make sure y'all have to interact again. <laughs>